Dimension Styles. We've been using dimensions a lot now, but so far we haven't looked at the styles and how we can change the settings of the dimensions. Well, we can find that here under the Annotation panel in the Home tab. If we pull this menu out here, these are the dimension styles. If I select this, I can go into the Dimension Style Manager. If I close this, I can also type a dim style into the command line and that pulls up the Dimension Style Manager as well. If I close this, I can also go to the Annotate tab, come over to the Dimension panel, and select this icon here. And that pulls up the Dimension Style. There's an Annotative and Standard Style right now by default. We'll get into Annotative later when we learn about plotting. Right now let's look at Standard. We can set any styles that we have current. We can create a new one. We can modify, override, and we can even compare styles. Let's go ahead and create a new one. Once I do, we have a new style and it asks us to start with. What this does is it picks another style and it gives us a basis to kind of start with. We can leave standard for now. We can change this to practice. And it asks us what do we use this for? All dimensions, linear dimensions, angular, radius, diameter, ordinate dimensions, as well as leaders and tolerances. For now, let's just leave it as all dimensions. If we select continue, we now have all these styles and settings to change. Under the lines tab, we have dimension lines. We can set the color, currently set to by block. We can put it to by layer or choose any of the colors we choose. We can select the line type, the line weight, extended beyond ticks, the baseline spacing, and we're able to suppress. Let's go ahead and select one of these. And you can see in the preview window, it's affecting this line here. If we go ahead and undo that, you see the other arrow disappears. So it suppresses it. We can look at the extension lines, suppress those as well, or the other one if needed. Typically, you'll suppress a line maybe if you add a dimension from a lower point here to an upper point here and the dimension overlaps the actual line of the part. You would maybe want to suppress that dimension so it doesn't cover the part. We can adjust how long the lines are extended, how much they offset from the origin. So you see them being offset right here. We can adjust the symbols and arrows. all these choices to choose from. We can put close filled. We can put open and you can see right here in the preview. We can change the arrow size and we can change the type of marks that are placed in the center. We can change it to none. We can even add a large line that crosses between. We can change the size of the dimension breaks. Before we saw this when we were breaking the dimensions and we set it to auto and the lines were being broken we can automatically adjust this. Right now there's nothing really to see in the preview where the lines are being broken themselves. There's some more options right here for linear jog lines, for the jog dimensions. Let's look at the text. We can set the way the text appears. Right now it's currently set to standard. If we had more choices we can choose those. We can set the text color, the fill color, the text height. Fill color actually we can use We'll cover it a little bit more later, but just so you have an idea, if we actually set the fill color to maybe red, for example, and if there was a hatch behind it, this can possibly help you more easily see the actual dimension over the hatch. For now, I'll go ahead and put that back to none. We can draw a frame around it, as well as text placement, if it's centered above, outside of the lines. I'll put it back to centered. We can change the text alignment and how it's centered. We can choose ISO standard. And we have many more options here to choose from as well as primary units, alternative units to set. We can display those alternative units if we so choose. And tolerances as well if you need to display tolerances for a mechanical part for example. So as you can see there are many 
many choices in here to change to customize the way your dimension style looks and however you need it to fit for your design.